So how are you going to lower the glucose? Well, we have drugs that will do that now. And this is, for example, canagliflozin. So as an SGLT2 inhibitor, it's going to make you pee out some glucose. If you pee out the glucose, then your insulin is going to go down, which is what this shows. And that's just sort of basic. And of course, then you get to studies like the EMPAREG study, which is a study where they used uh, SGLT2s. And what they found was that the A1C lowering was pretty minuscule. In Empereg, the A1C reduction was only 0.4, which is sort of meh. It's like, yeah, it's not very good, right? If you give insulin, you can get those A1Cs down 1%, 2%, 3%. You can't really do that with this. So there's almost no benefit compared to some of the stronger stuff on blood glucose lowering. But the important thing is that you're dumping glucose out of the body. This is all cause mortality down by like 32% for a barely noticeable drop in your A1C. But they got the treatment paradigm right, because you're treating the overflow, not the internal starvation.